So the idea I have for this is that I'm going to have um, a uh, what you might call it. An umbilical that will extend out to the top connector of the ship, the drop ship that's going to be here. And then when I go to depart, there'll be timer blocks set up for this. Um, well, it will it will retract. It'll rotate up maybe a couple of degrees, just enough to get out of the way uh, before the merge blocks disengage. That way, the little bobbling around or whatever shifting happens. Uh, during the connection and, re and disconnection of the merge blocks won't affect anything or should affect l the least amount of things and then I will still have this connection that will go out to the top connector and be able to transfer supplies and that and it's one of the reasons why I'm going to go with the larger with the mid-size connectors um, I'm not sure if I need to come out any more than that. That's probably more than enough. It might be actually too much. So let me go ahead and wait for it to start grinding. Come on, start grinding. Okay. And I want to see if I can... Um, just come out a little bit and it will still have room. Because I'm not going to rotate it a lot. So there's that. <clears throat> And now if I place this, oh, it is going to have a, uh, um, it shouldn't have a problem with that. Oh, that's going to be a problem though. spread out the uh, I want to spread out the use of these um, conveyor frames Nanobots, are you going to take this? see if I can get away with see now that is misaligned by one block looks like 
So then, if I want to do this. I was wrong. I thought that I would need I was off by a block. I wasn't even off by a block. Umbilical mount. It's not a whole lot. really isn't a whole lot so let me go again let me um let me uh, push it to the limit It's almost uh, perfect. But now that means that this guy and this guy It, so I have to go inside. Get rid of that stuff. Go with the full size here and yeah that's not gonna work there we go <clears throat> and that will have to be the way that's set up so that when this rotates back it should not impact that at all Ah, 
I'm already... Uh... I'm already thinking about things I want to change on this. But right now, I think I'm going to focus on getting the floor in place. And then I will think about all the rest of the stuff that I need to do. Um, let's see, that was going to be that. So now, it's just... Try and get an idea how how this is what I can what can I I can adjust. right now that those are definitely going to be conveyor blocks. And to see if the uh, build and repairs will reach all the way out here. I think they will. Well, that's a good thing I didn't... Uh... <laughs> start back here and I'm not going to do that I'm going to kneel down so the first thing is I need to place some blocks that are not going to be welded out this way. It's going crazy with the uh, the orange there for a second, so I'll just... Well, not the orange, the black. Alright, so seven. Need the big opening towards the center. There we go. Much better. Yes. So what I want to do now is I want to just have a lighted one there. Then... I want to alternate it. There. To there. Uh. 
All right now. Why are you doing that? Oh, yeah, boy. When I want to stand on the floor, that means I want to stand on the floor. And so, now we have a slightly different... Do I want to do that? We'll try it out. We'll see. All right, so we have one with a vent there, and I'll back up, and another one with a vent there. Sure, I do have that. <clears throat> so, that. Um. Yeah, that'll be better for frame rates if I do that, even though it shouldn't make a huge impact. Do I... Is that... No. I will just do this. Ooh! Better idea. Let's make it look like there's some special stuff going on there. <clears throat> I'm going to capture that color. And I am going to use it. I'm not sure how that's all going to work out there. <clears throat> oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. Hmm. So that's the one I need there. That's the one I need there. All right. 
right. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now I need to go... I can replenish my hydrogen and fix my health. Inventory. Metal grid. Alright, come on. There is no metal grid. Alright, so we'll do that. That should... Yes, it's going to do that. Um, Just make all the doors that way. That color. And this is going to be... Ship. Door. Forward. Top. Forward. So now with the drop ship pretty well completed, now it's time to start looking at how I can close things in so that um, there'll be a little bit of a I guess a streamlining is what I'm thinking of so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here in the sunlight see what I can come up with um, yeah I'll take that off there too I know we can't be in a way where we are um, infringing on the same area that these blocks are in, which is why I'm leaving everything connected like that. Uh, let me see here. So, turning those on. So now everything should be, yeah, it's all locked in. So maybe that's what the noise I was hearing, is that it was not really connected, but it was connected. I don't know. So, let's see here. Um, let me start off. I'm going to use pure black so that it doesn't... Um, so that the... Uh, Build a repair doesn't build these right off the bat. those all the way out to there. And then that means that this can come out all the way to there. Because that would be the end of that particular block where I could, where I could actually do that. Um, hmm. very interesting. So let me see what this will end up being like. If I do this... Uh, 
but then that would be the farthest I could go. So I'm thinking that what I had before was probably the better idea. So now I'm trying to think of a good way to make a, um, a gantry of sorts to give the illusion of structure. Um, 